The Algorand Foundation just made some amazing announcements. We talking about a new CTO, a partnership with Google, and a whole list of other potentials that could change the game for Algorand as a whole. And on today's video, we're gonna dive in. Before we begin, check out this clip from Mark, the CMO, interviewing the CTO. The challenges that the Algorand in particular faces, you know, whatever those might be, right? So that's that's my first priority. Very recently, we announced the roadmap. You were, I think you were on that call, you know, where you were discussing the new roadmap. And I think I'm incredibly excited about the things that you discussed. And I'm looking forward to kind of pitching in and trying to help, you know, build, you know, on our way to that roadmap. So my goal for the next couple of weeks, three weeks is to listen. And after that, to start contributing more actively and engaging and being more, more involved on the day-to-day. -day. Broadly, I, the way I look at it is the foundation has multiple roles. I think that, you know, within our ambit should be to shepherd the ecosystem broadly, right? Support things that need support, provide the framework for the community to contribute and build, right? empower the community in, in any way that we can and just make sure that that the space is growing and that algorithm can have a consistent and thoughtful representation that was nicholas bagalis hopefully i said that right but he joins the algorithm foundation as the cto and what's cool about this let's dive in, spent nearly a decade at Ripple, that's XRP, where he led engineering teams responsible for the open source XRP ledger. So as Stacy Warden would say, she poached someone from Ripple and brought them to Algorand. So I think a great replacement so far for John Woods, both got a bald head, both seem to be tapped in. Remember, John Woods was at Cardano and Nicholas was at Ripple two competing and uh, very successful blockchains. Now he's gonna bring his expertise to the Algorand Foundation. I think that's powerful. And more info, uh, Nicholas will support Algorand's position as, uh, as the blockchain of choice for the United States. Remember, they're, remo they're moving to the US from Singapore. Uh, and then institutions securing compliant and scalable infrastructure. Algorand's in position, new CTO finally, right? And he also holds three patents in cryptography. So some say he could be similar to Silvio. I think that's positive. Let's give him some time to see how he works, see how he upgrades the system and continues to maintain and potentially make partnerships. So big uh, hire there from Nicholas. And then the next thing, Algorand's partnership with Google, okay. Algorand has been added as a partner for Google Cloud Tech's agent payment protocol. That's agentic commerce. Google developed AP2 to initiate and transact agent-led payments across platforms securely. Our blockchain's instant finality, low cost and secure transactions make AP2 ready agent payments seamless across platforms. So here it is right now. Algorand is now a partner for Google's new agentic payments protocol. Google put this out, partners contributing to the agent payments protocol. And at the very top, right there, you can see Algorand. Algorand is right there at the top layer. So they are partnering with Google. The agent, agent payment protocol was developed with 60 plus payment and tech partners, including American Express, Coinbase, Intuit, MasterCard, PayPal, Salesforce, service now to standardize how agents handle financial transactions and then so blockchain obviously algorand is one of those companies so remember agents is the future this is where ai agents has access to funds they can purchase let's say your vacations they can go shop for you when your fridge is empty they can order stuff for you on amazon they can make your life a lot easier that's what we're all being told and it's a big possibility, especially if you're going to be using stable coins and things of that nature in the future. So we're going to be paying attention to this partnership, watch it closely and see how it benefits Algorand in the long run. And finally, 
uh, we get to a great post by Fran Stott Algo. He always be dropping some fire, so I wanted to include him in this video. So here it is. Everyone here should definitely be paying way more attention to Algo. I agree. Algorand is one of the very few chains, L1s or L2s, perfectly positioned for all the big crypto narratives. Now he has this uh, image here. Agentic Commerce, just talked about that. Post quantum security, that's vital for quantum computers. Real world assets in a US blockchain. Let's go through the thread. So he says, uh, number one, AI agents slash agentic commerce. Algorand is now a partner at Google, okay. This is absolutely massive news because we're heading into a world where billions of AI agents will soon be able to act and trade fully on their own, making decisions, exchanging values, and working together in real time on our behalf in absolutely every field. Yeah, I definitely do agree on that one. But traditional rails are not absolutely, are absolutely not built for this kind of use case and won't be able to handle it, unlike payment systems running on crypto rails. How do you expect AI agents to freely exchange value autonomously? They don't have bank accounts. They need to run on blockchains. You're thinking. Many people don't realize just how much of a game changer agentic commerce will be. At scale represents entirely new, fully on-chain economy, uh, and very few blockchains as well positioned to support this as algo. Highly scalable layer one, which keeps improving. We got a new CTO. Ultra low and predictable fees and instant finality for immediate settlements. Agentic commerce is a major focus on the new Algorand Foundation roadmap and partnerships like the one with Google are absolutely massive. You're not bullish enough. Then he has the post-quantum security. This is one of the biggest crypto narratives for the next five to 10 years, and it will soon be at the hearts of global concerns. And let me say this right away, Algorand is already one step ahead of the competition. They, they've already made this announcement. They are, they've already done it. Um, so this is very important. So implementing post-quantum cryptography is essential to protect the future of Web3 that requires a lot of time and resources. It can't be implemented um, right away. It has to be been done already. And that's pretty much uh, where we're at right here. Overnight, no, it has to be been done. Algorand is already one step ahead of the entire crypto industry, right? Actually, Algo is one of the very few blockchains or digital ledger, ledger technologies that already feature post-quantum security. In fact, it's already one third of the way toward full quantum resistance. And that's what John uh, Woods implemented. That was one of his big projects over there. A state proof on Algorand, which is post-quantum resistant, is generated roughly 12 minutes in 12 minutes, ensuring the verifiable state of the blockchain's history. Um, so there's going to be a lot of tax in the future, and Algorand is like, we're going to keep our data secure, positive. So number three, RWAs remain one of the strongest narratives in crypto for the coming years. Algorand is already one of the leading chains for RWAs, hosting a wide range of real-world assets. So you got the Exodos tokenized stock share since 2021, right? Public company, first one to do it. Lofty AI with tokenized properties. Meld Gold, which is tokenized gold. Uh, and then you have the Midas, which is treasury yields, music royalties. Uh, agricultural commodities, land parcels, water tokens, carbon credits, all of this is already happening. And obviously, uh, La Vaza Coffee Group is making it happen as well. And in Nail Group is tokenizing the uh, electricity bills and all that on the chain. Native assets, very low fixed fees, instant finality, uh, the features like atomic swaps that these type of companies would need to tokenize and um, it's all there. That's RWAs. And then finally, number four, US blockchain. Trump administration is putting the United States in position by passing these laws. Congress is passing the Stablecoin Genius Act. They're working on the Clarity Act and a few others to make the United States on point for this type of transition into a digital ledger future. And then remember they hired Jenny Levin. She's the chief legal and operating officer 
and she works out there in Washington. Um, she's in the uh, different crypto councils and groups to make sure the algorithm's name is brought up and helping to push legislation. Um, you can be sure that the U if the U.S. crypto regulation become more favorable, favorable in the future, Algorand will undoubtedly benefit. So that is, a, um, again, a powerful breakdown of the agent commerce. That's Google. Post-quantum security. A lot of quantum computing will be out in the future. RWAs, real-world assets, tokenization of real things, and then becoming a U.S. blockchain with the U.S. taking the lead. There you have it, folks. Some powerful stuff for Algorand. Great updates. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Until the next time, y'all. Peace. Passive income, passive income. Gold in my dental. Thank God for my mental. Investor fundamentals told my girl it was simple.